everyone, it's Roger here with from Vinylmation Kingdom with a animation free review. Um, these got released a couple of years ago now and they're a 12 piece set and so let's get into it. So first off we have Robin Hood, okay. we got the um, like the Peter Pan-esque um, hat, you know, really good face, I'm, I'm a huge lover of the Robin Hood movie, one of my favourite movies as a kid, Just, I think that's fantastic myself. Then we have one, I can't think of what this one is. Okay, this one is from the Free Camareros. I remember this primarily from the Epcot ride. I don't remember the cartoon too much, but it goes a very long well with the other figure from the set. We just need Donald now for that one. Okay, have the combo topper here, Thumper. Um, I think this is a really cool figure. Um, I love the way they've managed to get the whole face onto the um, body there, and he just looks really cool. I mean, I think uh, one of those fluffy. Um, tails that we saw in the Pixar series would have finished them off, but fantastic figure. Okay, then we have the card from the Alice in Wonderland. I love this little accessory. You know, it's quite surprising this one didn't end up in the uh, Alice in Wonderland series that was out just before it, but again, they've got so many characters, it's nice to see something different coming up. I don't know, some people like to have an army of these. One of the best figures from the set is we have Pascal from Tangled. Um, I really like the way they've done the face. It seems to fit the Numo very well. He's also quite shiny, which is um, quite good for this figure. There's also a red variant version, which um, a lot of people are after. Okay, and then we have Grumpy. A great... I love the Snow, the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, and I think any time you can have a Grumpy figure, you can't go wrong. He might be one of the most overused figures, but he's very apt. Anyway, so that's that one. And we have Mowgli. Um, I do think the the one they recently brought out at, in the Jungle Book series is much better. But I do love all the detail in the ears on this one. Um, and I think it's just pretty cool. It's nice to see some Jungle Book being represented. Then we have Basil the Great Mouse Detective. It's cool to see with these animation series that they sometimes go into um, older sets and then, sorry, into older movies to bring us characters that we maybe don't see quite as often which is, the, in my view, one of the best things about the animation series. Okay, then we have Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. You know, he's a bit sad, it's raining, as you can see that in the ears and he's got the tail pinned on there. Um, it's a bit of an odd one. I mean, you can see that he's sad. You can see, and I just like the fact that with the animation series that they do include, you know, little Winnie the Pooh figures in there. Another one of the best figures from the set is Stitch. You know, he's got a real angry face. You've got the clear ears there, and you know, you can see on the arms around him. I think this is fantastic and one of the best figures from the whole set. Finally, we have the last two. We have um, Ludwig van Drake. Um, you know, it's, it's, I really like the, how they've managed to just get the whole of the, the face on that figure. And he looks pretty cool. And then finally we have one of the um, Dalmatians from 101 Dalmatians. Don't ask me which one, I've completely forgotten. I like the way how they've managed to stretch the whole face. He look, they look so different to the whiskers and tails ones, which I think completely blow them out of the water. So this one, compared to those two, just doesn't match up in my mind. Anyway, what did you think of the um, animation free series? Um, share your comments below and remember to subscribe to the channel and to check out VinylmationKingdom.com for all your latest Vinylmation news and reviews. Thank you very much for watching.